Hello, my name is Miss Melissa Velarde. I am studying to be a middle school teacher at Lock Haven University. I recently read the historical fiction novel, The Bicycle Spy by Yana Zeldis McDonough. Marcel, the protagonist, is a 12 year old member of the resistance. The resistance is a group of people who helped the Jewish people escape from the Nazis during World War II. Marcel loves the Tour de France a popular bicycle race in France. He loves riding his bicycle and pretending he's in the race. He even dreams about it sometimes. On page two, McDonough tells readers that Marcel had been practically obsessed with the big bicycle race since he saw part of it three years ago. He was sad it was canceled because of the war, but was hopeful that it would start up again soon. One day, Marcel meets a girl named Delphine, who shares his love for bicycles. He later discovers that Delphine and her family are Jewish. Since he and his family are members of the resistance, Marcel is determined to help his friend and her family get to safety. When Delphine's mother asks Marcel why his family is helping them on page 100, he says, because we have to, it's the right thing to do. This shows that Marcel thinks that it is important to help. Marcel travels on his bicycle to send messages for his parents to help Delphine's family escape France. When trouble comes on his journey, Marcel must make quick decisions. Will he be able to send the messages so they can escape? Will they make it out of France safely? Read to find out. I would give this book four out of five stars. McDonough describes what life is like in the war with no sugar coating or making it seem better than it was and she makes Marcel a very relatable character. But sometimes she doesn't describe things enough or move too fast through a scene. You would like this book if you enjoy suspense. Don't start reading it if you don't have time to finish it. This book keeps your attention the whole time and has you wondering what will happen next. You would like this book if you like A Thunderous Whisper by Christina Diaz Gonzalez. Odette's Secrets by Marianne McDonald, or Stones and Water by Donna Jo Napoli. I loved reading this book. It was a wonderful story about friendship. McDonough th- taught that no matter how old you are, you are never too young to stand up for what you believe in. Thanks for listening.